What's up everybody? I'm back with another playoff predictions video everybody and today yes it is our NFL playoff predictions. Oh you're wearing the Lions jersey again. You said it wouldn't be back till next season. Yes you know I, I do I do bulk recordings okay. I don't have a lifestyle of many other YouTubers. It's not my job okay. Anyway though today we are with only the playoffs only a couple of days out at the time of this going up. Um we are going to analyze all 14 playoff teams, go through each of the matchups, and I will predict the winner, and also eventually get up to our Super Bowl predicting, predict my Super Bowl champion, and I will predict the final score for the Super Bowl as well. I will not, I can't guarantee I'll predict scores for each individual game, but I definitely hope to do a score prediction for the Super Bowl, so... And uh, as far as this whole thing with the AFC championship being at a neutral site thing, you guys don't know what that's all about. Um, because of the DeMar Hamlin situation, the game between Buffalo and Cincinnati did never played. Um, so those teams got one less game. Uh, no win, no loss, nothing. Um, and it's it said that because of that and because of the unfairness of them, have of, of, of the Chiefs and other teams having an extra game, they're considering... Um, having the AFC Championship at a neutral site. I don't know. That's not nothing's confirmed with that because they said that that probably will go down the drain if the Chiefs lose in the divisional round. You know, other teams can squeak by as well. And the Bills and Bengals might not even win. So it's not confirmed that that's going to happen. Um, but I'm not taking that in consideration. I'm gonna say that whoever has home field has home field, and that's. And that's what it is. Uh, that's what I'm going to say for this. If it changes, so be it. Uh, that's okay. I don't, I, I mean, it would be weird, but I don't care. Um, but, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what it's going to be. So we're not, we're not going off of that. I'm not going to speculate any of the ad stuff. Let's go. Let's start with the, uh, we'll start with the AFC since I already mentioned it. Um, obviously, Chiefs get a first round bye, so we're not going to mention them right now. But we'll start with the 2-7 matchup, the Bills and the Dolphins AFC East matchup going here. This is going to be an easy Buffalo win. Uh, in Buffalo, the Dolphins right now, they're they're down to their third string QB. Tua's got like his fifth concussion of the season. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater broke a pinky, and apparently that means he can't even walk anymore. So uh, that means uh, you're going to put a third stringer in in Buffalo against Josh Allen and the Bills, who are riding this wave of sympathy and everything for DeMar Hamlin. Uh, I think it's going to be an easy Easy Buffalo win. No questions asked there. And then Bengals-Ravens, the 3-6 matchup. This is actually going to be a rematch of the uh, game that just took place the previous week. So Bengals get back-to-back -back home games against the Ravens. I wonder how that works out. Um, but I think the same thing. If Lamar Jackson is not playing it in this game, it will not even be close. Uh, if he does play, then it could get it could be pretty dicey. I think it could be a, a pretty con hotly contested matchup, but I cannot like say I can't I can't determine that for sure. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a pretty easy Bengals win here um, to set them up in the second round. I don't think it's gonna be that close. I think the Bengals could be probably easily win even with Lamar Jackson playing. I just think with Lamar Jackson playing, it would be a little bit more of a hot of a contest. So I say. And then the final wild card matchup for the AFC, surprisingly, the Jaguars hosting the Chargers. I think this is going to be not one of not just one of the best games in the AFC in the wild card round, but also in the entire wild card weekend. I think this is going to be one of the um, best games. Uh, Justin Herbert versus Trevor Lawrence, both teams, both player, uh, both players making their first ever appearance. The Jacksonville's white hot right now. Uh, the Chargers are the Chargers. I think they have a stronger team than Jacksonville does. Um, but, you know, it is the Chargers, and it's in Jacksonville, so, you know, you can't take that into consideration. But I could see this game really going either way. Uh, I think it'll be a very close game. But I'm going to give it to the Jaguars simply because of them having home field here um, and giving them the win. So, uh, But, I, I, like I said, it could go either way. They'll move over to the NFC to do their wild card. Eagles got home field uh, in the NFC, so we won't talk about them right now. But let's go to the 2-7 matchup, um, which is the 49ers hosting the Seahawks. Another divisional matchup, the, the NFC West this time. Um, and I think this is going to be a very easy 49ers win. Uh, 
I think the Seahawks are incredibly overrated. Geno Smith is an awful quarterback, and being on the road against the 49ers, who I think have a very well-rounded team, I think Brock Purdy's pretty good QB. I don't think he's great, but I think he has enough supporting of a cast to make him seem better than he actually is with Christian McCaffrey and a really good defense. And I think that will be enough to propel the 49ers past the Seahawks pretty easily. And then the 3-6, the Vikings hosting the Giants, a rematch from a few weeks ago, again in Minnesota. I think this will be another really good, I could, this could possibly, I think, be another really good game. Uh, Giants are going to be looking for revenge. Minnesota, obviously a home game in the playoffs. Um, and, you know, it could be a really good matchup. I think, though, it is going to be a Minnesota win, though I do see this one being one of the closer games of the weekend. Uh, just like I said for the Jaguars-Chargers um, game. I think it's going to be a pretty good matchup. One of it's, it could be a top three game of the weekend, possibly even top two, and it could easily be the best game of the weekend. Um, but I do see the Vikings winning this one. And then finally, the four or five matchup: the Buccaneers and the Cowboys. I don't think I've picked a road team yet, um, but I am going to pick a road team here. Uh, because the NFC South is by far the worst division in football this year. Uh, I hate that it, that one of them had to get a home game of all things uh, when the Lions could have easily stolen one of those spots and been a lot more exciting than, Bra than old-ass Brady's going to be out there. And I think this is going to be an easy Cowboys victory. Now, this could easily also be one of the best games of the weekend. I think this is one of the bigger, like, it can go either way. It could be a big Cowboy blowout, or it could be a close game. But I think either way, the Cowboys are going to prevail here. As much as I hate to say it, they do have a much stronger team than Tampa Bay. Even if it's not great, it's strong enough to get the job done, I think. Uh, especially against a losing record team. Well, you know, ask the Saints how playing a losing record team in the wild card round went. Then we'll move on to the divisional round. Um, move back up to the AFC. So it will be the, the Joe. I forget how this goes. I think I know how it goes. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Here we go. No. That's not it. Here we go. Um, so it will be Jacksonville uh, heading to Kansas City uh, for the divisional matchup. But I don't think this one's going to be close. I think it's going to be easy Jacksonville. Uh, L, Kansas City is going to win this one pretty easily um, and end Trevor Lawrence's debut in the postseason. Won't even be close. Uh, and then it will be Buffalo and the Bengals in the other divisional matchup in the rematch from the game that never actually happened. Um, and I do see, because it is in Buffalo, I do see this one being a Bills win, though I do think this is going to be one of the best games of the playoffs, if not the uh, definitely the best game of the round, probably but also probably the best game of the playoffs. Both teams are very high-powered. They're looking to right what they couldn't do last time they met, and I think it's going to be a really good game. I think it'll be a very emotional game, too, uh, as well. Then we move over to the NFC. Cowboys host going to a division rival again facing the Eagles. I think this is going to be an Eagles win. Uh, the Cowboys are incredibly overrated, and the only reason they're going to be in this position anyways is because of the fact that they faced an 8-9 team in the first round. Um, so that's why I think it's going to be an easy, easy Eagles win. Honestly, I mean, their first their matchup in on Christmas Eve was pretty good, but that was in Dallas. I in Philly, I don't see them doing a whole lot. So I think it's going to be an easy Eagles win. And then uh, Giants, uh, no, the, the Vikings going to San Fran to face the 49ers. I think the incredibly bad point differential for the Vikings is going to finally bite them in the ass here. And San Francisco is going to end their really, really magical and stupid and completely scripted run. And I think it's going to be a pretty easy San Francisco win. Though, I could see either of the NFC divisional games that I said, Cowboys, Eagles, or Vikings, 49ers, being actually good games. Um, but, you know, could be, I don't think it could be either way, honestly. But that's my prediction. My opinion, my prediction. 
All right, conference championship weekend. Like I said, we're going on this this thing. It's going to be home field, not a neutral site. If the AFC championship is at a neutral site, I definitely think that will affect it. However, my prediction would still stand. Um, and for the AFC championship, it's a Bills Kansas City matchup. Who could have scripted that? Thanks, Roger. Um, but I think it will be a Bills win. Um, the picking I've only picked the lower seed once so far, and I'm picking him again. Uh, the Bills getting the victory here. I think the Chiefs have just looked overall a little pretty weak this season. They've had some relatively easy competition and have gotten bailed out and have just really been one of those quieter teams. And I just I just think that the Bills are riding on so much right with with all this Demar Hamlin stuff and and all the adversity they had overcome with that. And I think they're going to ride that wave into a victory, especially if it's a neutral site game. Um, but I think even without being a neutral site game, I think it's going to still get them into the Super Bowl um, because of the fact that they are a very high-powered team that has seen this situation twice before now, and I think they're going to right their wrong this time and actually get the job done. So the Bills, I think, will represent the AFC in uh, Arizona. And then for the NFC, I'm going to say that it's going to be the Niners. Yes, I do. Uh, I also think the Eagles are very, very overrated. I think they have, um, I, I think Jalen Hurts being injured kind of showed a lot of the flaws that this team really has. And I think it's going to come back to bite them against another strong team in the 49ers, even though this one will be, would, well, actually, if it does happen, will be in Philadelphia. Um, San Fran's, you know, a West Coast team, a warmer climate team. I, they have an incredible defense, Christian McCaffrey, and I think Brock Purdy is not great, but not horrible, and I think he's going to just do just enough to get the job done and uh, send the Niners back to the Super Bowl. And that means I predict a Bills uh, 49ers Super Bowl. Now, this is going to be an interesting game. Two really good defenses and two pretty good offenses um, meeting up against each other. I think this could be a historical Super Bowl matchup, but I'm going to give this one to the Bills in a 36-33 to victory. Um, because of the DeMar Hamlin situation, I think the NFL is going to... One, I think it'd be cool to see the Bills finally win the Super Bowl. Two, they have they definitely have the people to do it. They have a very, very strong team. Three, they're riding still riding the way of the DeMar Hamlin situation. Four, I think the um, Niners, while I said they have a very strong defense, I think Brock Purdy's flaws as a young QB are going to arise here. And Christian McCaffrey can only do so much. And the defense can only do so much when you're facing Josh Allen. So... Um, that's why I think it's going to be a 36 to 33 Bills victory, uh, but, but it will be a very historic Super Bowl, I think. Barring that's what it ends up being. So, and that's it. That's my 2022 NFL or 2023, I guess, NFL playoff predictions. We'll come back in a few weeks and uh, see how how mine stack up, and uh, see who actually made the Super Bowl and who actually ends up winning the Super Bowl. But what are your predictions for the playoffs? Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to win. Who do you think, how, how accurate do you think my predictions are? And uh, let me know your score predictions and who you think is going to win the Super Bowl in the comment section down below. That's going to do for this video, everybody. Stay tuned for much more amazing content. I am trying to do more sports content. I know I had the Lions season review back a couple days ago, plus this video. Uh, I probably won't do it. I I'm probably didn't do a video on the national championship for college football. If I did, you've already seen it. Um, but we'll see about that. So, but anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Stay tuned for much more amazing content. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.